there's been a lot of drama. She's, you know, I obviously I won the last two big confrontation hands with her. I don't know, we just have a history of playing really big pots against each other. A couple of times recently, he's made some really big shots. I was in the big blind. She raised 50, I folded around to me. I had pocket deuces. That's a standard call from the big blind, and the flop was King Jack Deuce. Of course, fireworks go over in your head, you know, when you have a set. I checked, she let out for about one third the pot, and uh, I put a small raise in. You know, she put in another raise, and I went all in, though I didn't have a particularly great feeling. I'm all in. I know that, you know, he kind of plays a more unconventional style than most big players and he likes to put a lot of pressure on. I just had a good hand and called him. Oh, hold on to your potatoes. But obviously it was a cooler situation for her. Is that, is that real? And I feel bad because, you know, I consider her, you know, if not the best in the game, one of the best in the game right now. I hope you get him. Thank you, Vanessa, I appreciate it. I seriously can't even believe that just happened. He's had my number and number of uh, a couple major final tables. The super high roller back at the PCA. I was second in chip, she was first. I honestly had a bad read, thought I had the best hand. Oh, and, and Shaq shoves! OMG ICM suicide. The announcer said it was uh, uh, ICM suicide on my part because it was on the bubble. He's not representing that many hands. I have a really strong hand. It just boils down to one of the situations where I'm just gonna call every time. I call. Vanessa calls! And Dan Shack is at risk of bubbling the super high roller. She made an amazing call, but I knew in any case I had a lot of outs, and you know, I'm not afraid to take a risk. Dan Shack does have 11 outs. He can hit a club or a 10 on the river. It's a 10! Oh. That was not supposed to happen. Uh, you know, I was upset. I lost 2 million chips. Dan got me on the river, yeah. He pushed on the turn, I called, and he had 11 outs. Given how absurd it was, given the situation with all those tiny stacks, we shouldn't have been playing that big a pot at that stage of the tournament. You know, I obviously won the last two big confrontation hands with her, but over the years, she's probably has gotten the best of me way more than I've gotten the best of her. And now Vanessa Selps can celebrate. These just have been a couple of high profile hands in key situations. What an achievement! Back to back at Mohegan Sun!